G'day everybody, this is a quick video on how to add two digit numbers and one of the strategies that we've been using in class. So if we have the number 17 and we're going to add 25, then this is one of the really simple and effective ways you can do it. So you need to expand the numbers so that you understand that the 17 is not just made up of a 1 and a 7, it's actually made up of a 10 and a 7. So we rewrite the question to look like this, the largest number at the top. 25, which is actually 20 and 5, and we're plusing 17, which is actually 10 and 7. Now, all we need to do is add these two numbers up going down. There's no trading or any of that involved anymore. It's just a simple addition. So we can go 20 plus 10, we know is 30, and 5 plus 7 is 12. So we write down 12. Now, all we need to do is add 30 and 12 together, which equals 42. We can do exactly the same thing with subtraction. So if we have a look at this example here, we've got the question 25 subtract 14. We've done exactly the same thing. We've expanded the 20 to be 20 and 5. So 20 plus 5 is 25. Take away 10 plus 4, which is 14. So all we've done is expand the question. If we then work down the question again, and start to figure that out. We've got 20, take away 10 is 10. 5, take away 4 is 1. So that's a positive 1. So 10 plus 1 equals 11. We can also do that with numbers that are slightly more difficult. So if we have 25, take away 16. This might be more confusing. If we expand the numbers to 20 and 5, take away 16, which is made up of a 10 and a 6. And we do exactly the same thing. Remember, we're working down and doing exactly what it says. 20 subtract 10 is 10. 5 take away 6. Well, lots of kids say that you can't do that, but you can. If you have 5 degrees and the temperature drops by 6 degrees, it actually ends up being minus 1. So you literally write down minus 1. And then you complete whatever's left as an equation. 10 take away 1 equals 9. This is a great method for solving two-digit addition and subtraction and also supports you in understanding that each number holds a place in a number. So 2 in 25 is actually 20, not just a 2. So hopefully this helps and we can practice this in class.